the growing debate tonight over safety in downtown Detroit, a group of gun rights advocates pushing back on a city council proposal to ban guns in areas like the riverfront, campus marshes, also Greektown. Yeah, and they say these gun-free zones would put people in harm's way, but this afternoon they were met by people on the other side of the issue. Sean Lay joins us live from Greektown. Sean, it sounds like it was a meaningful conversation at least. Truly, we will show you that. And let's talk about how we got here, Kimberly and Karen. The idea of city council talking about gun-free zones in places like Greektown here, well, it was right here where beloved security guard Daryl Strader was shot and killed a handful of weeks ago. So over here today was a debate, a protest against gun-free zones, and things got pretty passionate. Terry Garza was emotional this morning walking to work in Greektown and walking up to a group protesting the idea of gun-free zones in the city. She is a CPL holder. She supports the Second Amendment, but says after gun violence, there are more victims than just the person who was shot. She says she knows her family was touched by a murder. People are left behind like me. People like that family over there. That man who got murdered here, he had a family. Okay, and you need to realize your right to carry arms does has no right to impinge my right on freedom. Garza says gun-free zones are okay with her. Members of the group March to Defend Lives believes gun-free zones can't be established by city government, but they also say they will not make anyone more safe. You set up this street right here to screen against firearms. What about when I'm walking back to my car? What about when I'm in the parking garage? What about when criminals know that I'm going in without a firearm, they know I'm coming out without a firearm as well? I think it's wrong for a law-abiding citizen to be unarmed. Criminals love unarmed victims. Working at chipping away and taking away the Second Amendment, a piece at a time, not all at once, that's never going to happen back here live. Part of that impassioned debate we saw right here, I must tell you that it was very civil. A lot of passion, of course, on both sides, but very, very civil debate right there. Gun-free zones right now, not in places like Greektown, but we saw them just over the weekend at Movement because that's a private event, Kimberly. The organizers can ask DPD to come in and screen everyone who comes in for weapons. Back to you. Sean, you've done so many stories on this topic. Remind us again, where does the gun-free zones idea stand right now with the city? I had to be reminded about it today because it's kind of gone back and forth with a lot of debate. So I asked Council President Mary Sheffield. She tells me Council passed a resolution. They passed it urging the state law to be changed to allow local municipalities like Detroit to enact laws that deal with gun zones. Currently, state law prohibits local government from doing that. Nothing else can be done at the local level at this time. But you're sure to hear more debate on the issue. Yeah, and we know you will be sure to stay on top of it. Sean, we appreciate it.